One is struggling internally. The other sees and runs to help her. The girl struggling refuses help at first, but in the end accepts the girl's help. On April 12th, THS will present Matt Bellis and his message about coping with internal struggles and the strengths within ourselves to overcome them. Thank you. Hello, my name is Zach Farver and this week we'll be interviewing an athlete of the week, um, recommended by their coaches and so forth for stellar performances. This week we'll be highlighting Mason Brandt after his impressive performance at a varsity game. He pitched four innings, had six walks and zero hits um, to help lead the team to its first win of the season. So, Mason, I know you're only a sophomore, so how do you think you worked your way up to varsity level already? Um, just being able to like do different pitches, put them in in different counts, being able to, like, I don't know, put the off speeds where they need to go is, I don't know, very, can help out a lot. Um, so would you say that a lot of this has come through like, you know, different like hard work and so forth or would a lot of this just kind of come naturally? Well, some of it's naturally, but being with Brookman throughout the years, he was my coach last year when I was a freshman on VR and being able to him see what I got, it really helped me out uh, coming into this year. Um, so do you enjoy the opportunities that it gives you and stuff? I know myself, I used to play a few sports and it's a very exciting time to showcase your abilities and oh, yeah. stuff. I love baseball. It definitely lets you be... I don't know, open, it's a slower moving game, so it's a lot of thinking, so I don't know, it's a very strategic game, I like it a lot. What about Mr. Brookman? How has he helped as a coach and so forth? Oh boy, um, back when I was younger, he was always taking me one-on-one -on -one with pitching and my hitting and just everything. He's worked me up throughout the years. Um, I know he's been definitely a good pitching coach throughout the years, just helping me out. It was a pleasure interviewing and you. Thank, thank you. you for coming on. How's it going, THS? This is Selena with the afternoon announcements. Students, there is school this Wednesday. The planners are incorrect. We are having school every day this week. The David Osborne Trio will be performing this evening at 7.30 p.m. at the high school auditorium. Free tickets are available for students in the main office. Drama Club will be having a meeting after school in Mr. Kibbe's room today. Please be there by 3.30. If you cannot attend, please see Mr. Kibbe to have him catch you up to speed. Attention HOSA members, our next membership meeting will be Thursday, April 14th at 7.15 a.m. in Miss Hughes' room, 212. Tito's TACU is open during lunch periods on Mondays and Fridays. Any Toma Area Credit Union member is welcome to utilize the student-run branch. If you are interested in becoming a member, stop by and see Krista or Erica. Stop by and fill out a survey and receive a gift. Surveys are available on Fridays only in April. The Toma Chamber of Commerce is looking to sponsor four THS students to go to Business World this summer for free. Business World is a four-day program that brings high school students and business volunteers together on a college campus to learn about all things business and the challenges facing our economy. Sessions are held at Edgewood College in Madison and St. Norbert College in Green Bay. See Ms. Hesselberg or Ms. Schmitz for more information and to pick up an application. Applications are due Friday, April 15th. Attention sophomore, juniors, and seniors who do not have a history class this semester. The Americanism and Government Scholarship Program is currently being offered by the American Legion of Wisconsin. If you are not in a history class this semester but would like to take part in this opportunity, you can do so by taking the test at www.yolegion.org. If you have any questions, see any teacher in the history department. The test must be taken by April 15th. And this has been Selena, signing off.